This is the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Monday, April 29th, 2019. On the weather map this morning, you can't really see it here, but uh, there is a low pressure system that is intensifying over the central Idaho mountains region. Uh, we will see some uh, light snow up there uh, today, and then as uh, we go through tonight, um, we'll see the chances for some uh, light snow increase across uh, portions of the high country and uh, over in the east uh, east Idaho region as well. Uh, so looking at our high temperatures today, for the most part, it won't be too bad across uh, most of the region. Uh, cooler than what we've been experiencing, uh, but less windy as well. Uh, this is looking at your overnight low forecast for Tuesday morning, and you see many areas will be down close to freezing. So as that uh, low pressure system heads our way, um, if we do happen to see any showers that comes out of it, good chance that we will see uh, snow or at least a rain-snow mix and even our lower elevations. This is looking at our snowfall forecast for this afternoon. You see most of the snow is expected to be confined uh, to the central Idaho mountains. And then as we go through the evening hours, you see a little bit of light snow potential picking up across our eastern highland communities as well. And then as we go into the overnight hours, uh, you see uh, some uh, light snow, maybe a light dusting possible across portions of the upper Snake Plain. Uh, on uh, Tuesday, we will have that low pressure area that will be sliding through uh, eastern Idaho, and that will provide us with the best chances of rain and snow across the region. This is looking at your afternoon highs for Tuesday, and you see with the added clouds and the precipitation running around, temperatures are going to be much cooler. Uh, this is looking at the snow potential for Tuesday morning, and you see once again, most of our best chances are going to be in the, in the high country and also in portions of the upper Snake Plain, although they can't rule out a uh, possible shower even down as far south as Pocatello and American Falls. As we go in the afternoon, that's really going to be the best chance for rain or snow across the region, and we do think that rain snow line is going to be sitting uh, really from uh, right around Idaho Falls and, and southwards. So even if uh, your lower elevations, you can pick up a, a very light uh, dusting of snow. Once again, this is not a very big snowmaker. Uh, up at the pass level, passes going into Montana, passes going over to Galena Summit, uh, passes going over to Wyoming. You could see one to th as much as three inches uh, between Monday and Tuesday, both combined. Um, but uh, it's it's really not expected to be a big, big snowmaker for, for the most part. Uh, as we go into Tuesday evening, you still see that those snow showers lingering on across, rain and snow showers lingering on across much of the area. And then as we go through the overnight hours into uh, Tuesday night and into Wednesday, we do expect uh, things to wind down very, very quickly across the region. Uh, and we are expecting then uh, mainly dry conditions for Wednesday. You still might have an isolated shower run around, but it would be very isolated at that point. Uh, things should be quick, uh, winding down very quickly on Wednesday. Just looking at your high temperature forecast for Wednesday. And once again, we'll sh shift gears here very quickly and look at our hydrology situation. And where you see the greens and blues, that's where you have uh, the rivers reasonably behaving themselves. Where you have some yellows, that's where you have the rivers running at bankful stage. And where you have the orange, we only have one orange in effect now, uh, and that's at Pocatello. That's where we have some minor flooding occurring. So with the cooler weather, we are seeing uh, a lot of the rivers starting to retreat. Uh, we did have a couple of rivers in the east that were uh, elevated the last couple days. They since have uh, diminished uh, greatly. Uh, so we're just going to very quickly show you the Portneuf River at Pocatello, and you see that's at flood stage still and expected to remain above flood stage through midweek. And then this is looking at the Big Wood River at Haley, where we've got elevated stream flows occurring, uh, although by Tuesday, Wednesday, we would expect uh, those uh, river levels to start coming down a little bit there. So that concludes the briefing. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you.